hey everyone welcome to my channel i am rajni khan and today's video you'll gonna see a popular uh question vm argument versus program program argument so this is not an interview question but uh you need to know these things okay so uh, sometimes while uh, in eclipse or intellij idea uh, while running programs sometimes we are providing these arguments okay uh, so we'll briefly discuss those stuffs so if you have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications from my side so this is my channel uh, here lot of videos are there you can explore my channel and here microservices series git uh, with intellij idea spring boot cloud application java ail streams apache kafka json and lot of other videos are there right okay so let's see uh, today's topic vm arguments and program arguments okay so uh, let me show you here while running this application if you will go to edit configuration and final example this class is final example and here if you will see vm options and program arguments so what is these two things so program argument means if you will see here in this final example i have a main method inside main method here this string array of arguments is here so if you want to pass anything to this argument then we can pass as a program argument so those are called program arguments if you are if you want to pass something to this main method those arguments is known as program arguments and something you need to pass to system or vm so those are called vm arguments or system properties as well okay so let's have some value and we'll see okay this final example vm option ideally we should give like this hyphen d and let me take here we'll take my name okay as a vm argument so hyphen d my name is equal to r a j a n i k a this is a dummy thing but ideally hyphen d uh, spring dot profiles dot active equal to dev kind of thing or any uh, other parameters we want to send like this we can send and here program argument suppose let me send java s h a s t r a okay so let's apply and okay so just see let me save here okay so here just see what i am doing system dot properties this is that my name we taken as a key sys properties and how will get those value system is a class already given in java system dot get property and here we are passing that key so we will get the value what value we will get that my name rajnikantha will get here and in that second line what i am doing here so args a r g s so the first argument this is array so i am taking zero index so what we are passing from here in final example if you'll see okay so this final example if you'll see i am taking java sastra as a uh, program arguments okay so now let's run this one and we'll see in this console just see value as rajnikantha and program variable test property name equal to java sastra right so hope you got a crystal clear picture that is what is vm argument and what is uh, program argument program arguments if you want to pass some argument to your main method those are known as 
program arguments and if you want to pass something to vm or system level that is known as vm arguments right so thank you for watching you can have your valuable comments in the comment section and let me know if you uh, want any other videos then definitely i will try to upload those videos as well right so thank you watching have a nice day